This is a classic in French kitchens, and every good cook has a personal interpretation of this classic recipe. Traditionally served in scallop shells, the basic ingredients are always the same, but Coquelle Saint Jacques lends itself to kitchen witchcraft when it comes to the sauce. To make my Coquelle Saint Jacques, you will need two tablespoons of unsalted butter, one half cup of diced shallots, one cup of finely chopped or sliced mushrooms, some salt, some pepper, one cup of a white wine, two tablespoons of cognac, one half cup of a heavy cream, one egg yolk, one quarter of a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, one half cup of buttered breadcrumbs, and four large scallops that have been cut in half. With your large scallops cut in half and rinsed well, the next step is to soak the scallops in milk for about two hours. Take them out, rinse them, and blot them dry while you heat your saute pan. Make sure they're really good and dry. Very carefully put them in the hot oil for about two minutes on each side. We're looking for them to become a beautiful golden brown. When your scallops have that lovely golden color, it's time to take them off heat and then we're just going to put these aside. Scallops are beautifully cooked, so now it's time to start our sauce. I'm heating two tablespoons of unsalted butter, to which I'm going to add shallots. And I'll cook these until the shallots are translucent. When you're happy with your shallots, and they do smell divine, add your chopped mushrooms. It's a little bit more than a cup. You can either chop them and or do slices, but we prefer them chopped. Mix them in with the butter and the shallot mixture and just keep them on heat. And you're looking for them to release as much liquid as possible. And this is the time to add your seasoning, a little salt and a little, little pepper. I'm now adding one cup of white wine. I'm using a Sancerre. And then two tablespoons of cognac. Mix well with your wine, mushroom, shallot, and cognac. You want to keep this over medium heat and reduce the liquid until it's about half. When you're happy with the reduction, you want to strain out your mushrooms and shallots. And we'll put these aside. Your pan back on heat. And I did measure out our liquid. It was three quarters of a cup on the dot. Put that back on the heat and bring it to a boil. When your liquid has come to a boil, a boil pour your cream into the pan and blend it with a spoon. And we are, once again, we're looking for a reduction of the liquid. We're looking to reduce this to about half. Some recipes will call for a bachamel sauce or using flour to thicken, but my recipe uses the reduction method, which takes a little more time, but it gives a beautiful flavor to the sauce. I'm happy with my sauce at this point. It's slightly coating the back of a spoon. And now I'm going to take it off of heat for a minute to cool it down. Our sauce has been off heat for about a minute, a little bit longer maybe. And now with a fork I'm beating our egg yolk. And now I'm going to temper the egg yolk before I add it to the sauce. Tempering is just a culinary term that when you are mixing two ingredients of different temperatures, um, you want to be careful that you don't curdle the egg so you want to mix a little bit of the hot sauce into the egg yolk. You want to whisk the egg yolk into the sauce. Whisking the whole time. Don't stop. You don't want to curdle your egg. Once it's all incorporated, turn your heat back on. Make sure that we cook that egg yolk properly. This is the point where you're going to taste the sauce for seasoning. And now we're ready, which I just did, and it's perfect to my taste. I'm ready to assemble our shells, and they need to be placed on a baking sheet with crumpled foil, and the foil, crumpled foil will keep the shells from slipping around in, when they're in the oven and being broiled. So starting with a generous spoonful of your mushroom and shallot mixture, 
into each shell. Next, place your scallops on top of the mushrooms into each shell. I like using scallop shells, which are easy to find online and in, and in stores. They can be washed and reused. They're, they can be microwaved and they're oven proof. And this recipe can, will be finished under a broiler. So it's really important that you use something that is oven proof and can stand up to the high flame and heat. Your next step is adding a generous amount of your beautiful sauce. Now the beauty of this recipe is that at this point, after we add the breadcrumbs and the cheese, they could go into the refrigerator and then they're completely ready to be popped into the oven under the broiler when you're ready to serve them. So it really is a great make-ahead dish. Next, a generous sprinkling of your buttered breadcrumbs. Oh, these are just looking so delicious. They smell good too. And the final addition is just a pinch of Parmesan cheese. This, you don't want a lot, just a little finish on top of the breadcrumbs. When you're ready to serve these, put them in under the broiler for five to six minutes until they're bubbly and golden brown. To serve, place, place a napkin on a plate. That's to keep it, the shell from slipping, much as the foil did when it was in the oven. And using tongs, place your shell onto the plate and serve with a wedge of lemon. Voila! You have just mastered the art of one of the favorite special occasion French recipes, Coquelle Saint-Jacques. This dish is a traditional Christmas Eve starter in France and a wonderful special occasion treat anytime and sure to become a family favorite.